When I heard Dinky music, I thought, I have absolutely no idea what to listen for. It's linear, it is very focused on the language, the language directs it and on the meaning of the words. There is, there is very little apparent repetition. When there is repetition, it is simply to emphasize the, the meaning of a phrase. So if you're wanting to say something very strong, either to praise your, your clan or to praise your ox, you say it a couple of times. There is no harmony. Um, everything is either solo or sung in unison. So you might have two people singing, but the second person will simply be either shadowing or singing exactly along with you. We want to think it because it Everybody sings, um, but the reason that we are interested in how they sing is because of the structure of the language, which uses uh, pitch and voice quality and vowel length um, to distinguish words. Uh, so there, there are quite a lot of so-called tone languages in the world where the pitch is different from one word to another, and that it's just like a consonant or a vowel. But in Dinka, you've got not only that, but you've also got different degrees of length, so vowels that are longer or shorter or medium, and you've got a difference of voice quality. So, I mean, the, the difference, the, the example that I always use is that roar means forest and roar means men. <laughs> The, the, the general idea is that, that songs are used for all kinds of social functions where you might, in, in, say, in Europe, you might write a letter to the editor of the newspaper, or, you know, it's, it's, it, it serves all kinds of, of, of social functions. Some of them are certainly just narrative, so keeping track of what happened when. Um, some of them are, there's various kinds of praise and criticism songs. They have insult songs, they have songs to express catharsis, real deep emotion. Um, they have political songs, they have songs of history. Um, and it's been quite interesting to research how the contemporary political issues have found their way into various old categories of songs and been repackaged essentially to accommodate um, the suffering that people have experienced in, in, in the, the conflict between North and South. So there's a huge um, category of communal songs about John Garang, the ex-leader of the SPLA, and about uh, you know encouraging the young fighters in the war to keep up morale and to keep going and to fight for independence. When people go about their daily business they will break into a song that, that may pertain to what they're, they're doing or may pertain to something that they're feeling that they would like to communicate. And sometimes it's a direct message, but very often it's a, it's a subtle message directed at, at certain people. Um, so there, are, there is a convention that you can actually fight in, with a song. You can actually say things that are quite insulting and quite honest in a song, which you, might, you won't be able to say to a person directly. But there is a convention where it's sort of cushioned within the genre of singing um, that can express discontent about something. And that's often how conflict is managed. Dinka is, presents one of the most complex systems of tone, vowel length and voice quality that exists in any human language. So you have, you have a, a four-way tone contrast, like in Mandarin, but on top of that, you have a three-level vowel length contrast. So you have a contrast of, like in, like in English, pit, the seed of a fruit, versus peat, um, well, what's dug up to, uh, to burn or t in, in the process of making whiskey. Um, but in a language like Dinka, you, you, you don't have pit, peat, you have pit, peat, peat. So you have three levels of length for vowels. So whereas in, if you have creaky voice, for example, in English that might mean, if I have, if you hear creaky voice, that might mean, oh, this speaker is uh, an American female. Uh, in, in a language like Dinka, that will just mean, oh, uh, it, means, it means forest. <laughs> so 
if you think about what's involved in singing, just phonetically, what's involved in singing, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're controlling the pitch for the music, you're controlling the timing for the music, you're controlling the voice quality to make it sound like singing. How do you do all this other stuff that, uh, that uh, the language demands that you do? And, and, and because singing is such a natural thing for, for Dinkins, it wasn't going to be an artificial situation of, you know, here you've got this interesting language, can we get you to sing? It's a, it's a sort of a perfectly good laboratory for, for exploring how these things interact. <laughs> The big surprises were in the length of the songs and in the memory involved in these songs because these are oral cultures and people would say, I have 205 songs in my personal repertoire. Um, the fact that they remembered that and that they could sing all of them with no prompting um, was something for those of us who live in a, in a very text-based culture where we rely on writing down even our shopping lists. It, is, is, it was a very, very, very exciting thing to see. A, a songs are made up of segments, so a particular song segment might only be a couple of minutes, but they will put them together almost like a song cycle or in a extended linkages of segments. Um, and we have uh, quite easily, each delivery would be about an hour long. And we have recorded songs that have gone on for about five hours. We had one recording that went on for five hours. And where at the end of which the, the composer said, would you like me to sing more? So these are hugely part of people's lives. Well, one of the things that we all realized and we were quite surprised by when we got going with this project was how little research that has been done that is involved both linguistics and music. And what we're doing, of course, is looking at two sound systems. Um, and throughout the world, and particularly in, in uh, languages that are tonal in quality, that relationship is fundamental, and yet so little research has been done on the relationship between the two. <laughs>